lately Unreal Engine is not just used as a game engine. In fact, it is becoming one of the best tools for architects and archivists artists. But to assess how good it is, let's compare it to Lumion, one of the best software for architectural visualization in the market today. So, generally speaking, Lumion is a leading software when it comes to rendering for architectural visualization, interior design, and landscape architecture especially. It prides itself for being versatile while maintaining a simple yet accessible workflow while still pumping out renders in relative expediency. Similarly, a real engine fulfills comparable niches while delving into other fields including film and television, video games, product design, in addition to other stuff. Lumion has its notoriety for a good reason. It has been a provider of high quality renders in rather a short amount of time while being extremely easy to use. And in 2023, it has received significant upgrades to its stack. And its biggest appeal has always been the multitude of render styles it provides with incredible presets like skies and weather effects to help you build the atmosphere you want to sell. But what does this newest version offer? For one, it blends rasterization with ray tracing based rendering techniques, which pushes the photorealism even further. Effects that Lumion used to struggle with, such as reflections, refractions, contact shadows, and better lighting distribution, are no longer cause of concern. You can now have more accurate reflections on curved surfaces, as well as different levels of transparency, like transparent glass and so on. Speaking of textures, Thanks to PBR or physically based rendering, material fidelity is now better than ever. And the addition of a custom material library allows you to import and overlay different textures, meaning you have the ability to stylize your renders and textures into less realistic and more cartoony styles if you are seeking to do so. This new version also expands on the already massive asset library with new feature, cutlery, decor, fine detail vegetation, and even new and improved characters and models. It also introduces a new live sync model compatible with most major CAD software, making it more versatile for active use during the design process. In addition, it also added some quality of life improvements, such as a better color correction features, an auto snap for objects, which is a toggleable option that honestly changes lives, along with some fun video export options like animated phasing and new camera pass, as well as different aspect ratios. Now, the elephant in the room, this program is a bit expensive. They charge you around $60 per month for what they say is a third of the asset library and limited access for rendering effects. And if you want full access, you will need to pay 115 USD, give or take. You also have the option for paying for a year or three years upfront for a discount, but that's still $1,300 to $3,600, which, as you can realize, isn't accessible for everyone. This goes to show that it is marketed primarily for professionals, studios, firms, and so on, but with the free student and educator versions sprinkled on top. Now, on a completely different note, let's talk about Unreal Engine, developed by Epic Games. And for that non-existent price, it is overwhelmingly good. As a simple example, you can model, rig, and animate, light, and render. Just look at some of the projects created using it. Simply put, you can create entire worlds and you can directly import multi-million polygon assets while still maintaining reasonable FPS all the way up to 60 without noticeable loss in fidelity. It can basically reduce poly count based on what you can perceive, which is already impressive. But thanks to Lumen, you get yourself global illumination and reflections that enable direct lighting, which can adapt to any changes you make on the fly to both lighting and geometry. And you can get access to customizable PBR materials, but you can also create your own. So you can animate in it, model in it, and even procedurally generate audio. There is even a marketplace where you can obtain assets or sell your own. And that's what we mean by versatile. Epic Games do have a dedicated plugin for CAD and BIM programs called Twinmotion, which is far more streamlined for one purpose. And this one is more compatible to Lumion. 
But Unreal Engine is built to provide more than just renders, although it is perfectly capable of that. And if we were to list off everything else we can do with it, it's gonna be a very long video. So the main takeaways from Unreal are affordability and incredible rendering technology. When it comes to the learning curve, boy oh boy, those graphs can't look more different. Just in the sheer number of things that you will have to learn, Unreal Engine has the cake and eats it too. You can customize your work to almost limitless extents, and this is where the difficulty lies. Now, is it as difficult to wrap your head around as, say, a modeling software for an absolute beginner? Not as much. Although experiences may vary, it is still accessible. The interface is clean, and it tries its best not to fill you with visual noise at any given time, but again, it can get overwhelming and intimidating, and it definitely takes time to get used to it. Lumion, however, is as easy as it gets. Everything is laid out in a very clean and concise way. The fact that it is more specialized allows it to be allows it to be a lot easier on the eyes, but also very simple and easy to understand. Now, when it comes to the pros of cons of using each software, the best way to summarize it is to ask the question: Would you rather throw money at a problem or take the time to solve it? Unreal Engine is free, and there is a 5% royalty if your project makes over a million dollars, but most beginners will never have to worry about that. It is super advanced tech, made accessible to everyone, and it is by all intents and purposes far more versatile than Lumion. The caveat comes in the time and effort required to learn it with all its moving parts. Now, you don't necessarily need to learn how to rig if you are only here to create renders or scenes, and this is perfectly fine. But the fact that it has all of these other features kind of clutters the workspace and makes it less appealing for focusing on one thing. And this is where Lumion comes in and shines brightly. It can help you create beautiful renders, and with the introduction of ray tracing, it is able to be compared to what Unreal Engine can do to a certain extent. So the important thing is number one, how expensive the program is, and number two, it's only able to be this simple because how hyper specialized it is. You can't make a video game using it, and you can't model within it. And if you want to render hyper realistic urban landscapes, you might run into less than desirable hiccups. The learning curve also plays a role here as Lumion is a lot easier to use for a first timer, at least compared to Unreal Engine. With that being said, if we are trying to find what's the more value for both money and time, then Unreal Engine easily edges out by just the sheer number of things that you can do with it and its non-existing price. But similar to how not everyone would be willing to pay for Lumion, not everyone has the time to invest into Unreal, and for architectural firms and professionals who have deadlines, Lumion might seem a lot more enticing. But also thanks to the new life sync, the entire process of design is more streamlined. So your choice is gonna depend on your overall goals and what you are able to afford to invest into both whether it be time or money. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.